Hello, everybody. How's it going today? It's a little loud right now because my compressor's still going. Just give me a minute <laughs> until it stops. <clears throat> Hi, Steve. Hi, Shay. Hey, Shay. Hey, Steve. Steve C. So, uh, today in the shop, well, Sunday, it's basically a project day for everybody. Uh, as you can see, Robin's crafting. Uh, Billy Burt's in his shop. He's doing some, uh, you do, you're, you're putting, uh, poly on that? Your fixture, no, it's, Billy? it's Linwax Antique Oil Center. Ah, coolie coolie Uh, join us in the chat. We got, uh, Shay and, uh, Steve C and Fabi. <laughs> and there's Herb, 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 Herb. Hey, Herb, how's it going, buddy? Hi, Fabi. <laughs> Hi, Herb. So, uh, since today is basically a, a, a day in the shop, uh, my uh, I'm going to be muted most of my time. I'm going to be doing sanding. Um, I get my backers cut out for my wedding signs and working on those and sanding my letters down and placing them all and getting the letters done for my uh, growth chart. So hopefully I'll have three projects. Uh, ready for gluing up and everything this week. <clears throat> so any questions, comments, or anything else, throw them in the chat there. We'll be sure and answer them for you. Um, out of all the... Uh, I'm just going to touch through base here. Out of all, all, all the sanders I have with my 6-inch... Six six my Sorry, my 4-inch by 23 belt sander. My 1-inch by 20-inch belt sander. Uh, my spindle sander with my five different attachments on it, um, my 12-inch disc sander, my 6-inch random orbit sander, my 5-inch random orbit electric sander, my 4-inch electric palm sander, my 5-inch air sander is my best go-to sander that I have. I basically stick with a... Uh, uh, what grip paper is this? I think it's two... 220, I believe. Uh, I, know I, I, I use basically two grits. I don't, uh, I don't go all full out though. <laughs> but I use uh, uh, 120 and 220, 120 and 220 for my uh, grits. And uh, when I'm using my my big belt sander though, I'll, I'll basically use 60, 60 or 80 on those just to get most of the, the rough grain down. Hey, Larry. Where's that pumpkin? Where's that pumpkin? And uh, just for reference, so you guys know, um, when when I do my sanding, you've seen in other videos before, I always have a pencil handy. And uh, just, just just do a quick a quick mark on your uh, wood. <laughs> right? Because the thing is, is that when you uh, go to sand you'll know that you got an even sanding all the way across it because your pencil line will be gone. It doesn't have to be a heavy pencil line, just a light pencil line with the, just a 2H, 2H pencil. And, uh, yeah, so I guess got sanding to do and assembly, and that's about it. So <clears throat> you guys can chat away over there because I basically got to mute myself while I'm doing this because it's pretty loud. And I see Shay got a bunch of sanding done. Uh, Shay, did you, did you just do just the one board for your table, your table runner? I think that looks pretty cool. And you could probably uh, you could probably sell those for four hundred bucks. <laughs> Double live edge table runner, full length, eight foot. Yeah, five hundred bucks. <clears throat> Sand them down, put a coat of oil on them, good to go. So Billy just cut out. He might be going back in the house, so I'm not sure. But uh, you got to cover the chat now. Great. <laughs> just a second. Okay, there we go. Hi, Larry. Ah! So, at all, uh, uh, so Shay, out of all those boards you got, you made one table runner so far. Like I said, you should make uh, those welcomes, welcome door signs. Uh, you know, just 
live, love, laugh, blah, 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 stuff like that. You always say that, live, love, laugh. <laughs> like oh, this. Yeah. Like this, Shay. How much, you buy that? How much did you buy that for? Uh, $1.25. <laughs> How thick is it? Is it wood? Uh, no, it's that particle board stuff. Yeah, so you really wouldn't stick that outside, though. Well, you could if you covered it, I guess. Yeah. And I got this one, too. Ah. This one's really cute. Hmm. You know, by dub, by 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 buying stuff like that, you're taking away from actual real woodworkers, eh? Well, it was cute, and I wanted it. Sorry. You know, you can uh, get one commissioned by a woodworker in your area. Yeah, and how much is that? Depends how big you want it. A lot more. She's charging three hundred fifty bucks for hers. Wow. Yeah, but it's worth it. Well, yeah, it, that's what I'm saying. It's worth it. It'll last, it'll last more than yeah, one but I season. Just, I just bought those to show in my video. I'll probably give them away. Mm -hmm. Larry says, I would make small tables out of cedar. Steve D. Good has a beautiful hummingbird table pattern. Well, Fabby. I uh, I went over a... I had a table in here. Where the my table at? <clears throat> Fabi, what color should I add to this orange to make it like a more pumpkin-y color? What do you think? <clears throat> so, I'm going to mute myself. Oh, hey, Mike. Me and myself, so it's not too loud for everybody out there. But any questions, just throw them out there. Russ says, hello, everybody. And Mike says, hi, as well. Hi, Mike. Hi, Russ. Sorry, my son was texting me, asking me what's for dinner. And I'm like, you can make it yourself. <laughs> I'm just painting some wood balls. Then I'm going to make into pumpkins. Hi, Blair. Uh oh, this is bad. <laughs> I just dropped it. On the floor. And it went all over my shorts. Fun. <sighs> Baby wipe. Where did I put those? One here. Yeah. Hey, Blair. How's it going today? Hey, Russ. Uh, where did my ear nozzle go? Right. Larry says, can you believe it? I'm getting orders for Christmas ornaments already. That's good. Yep. That'll give you something to do. Keep you out of trouble. Keep you out of trouble. Keep your mind busy. Just don't overwhelm yourself with too many at a time, though.
fun sound. What can I add to orange to make it look more pumpkin-y? Hi, Teresa. Larry says, I cut 12 and got a sleigh cut out. Have to do bottom and got 16 deer for one sleigh and some for someone else. Russ says, just popped in to see what condition my condition was in. Red or yellow, add to orange. Russ, what's that supposed Thanks. to mean? Thanks, Teresa. It's a song by Kenny Rogers. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. Hey, Teresa. Glad to see you can join us. Okay, let's see. Let's try this out. Okay, I'll add red. This is yellow. <laughs> oh my goodness. Orange. <laughs> I'm making um I'm making this. Oops. Little Hey, Dwight, how's it going? Yeah, if anybody wants in, just let us know. We'll send you guys links. And um, I, I was going to put pumpkins in the front here that I'm making. Is it, can you see? Because on my end, it's blurry. Someone text me. Sorry. <laughs> there we go. Russ, do you want a, a link? <clears throat> oh, leave me alone. <laughs> leave me alone, real life. Teresa, Thanks, what do you Teresa. use those big words in here like that? Wait says he built a solid oak cabinet for a friend's mom. Well, that sounds like a good something to keep you busy.
sent you the link, Russ, on Facebook. Teresa says, I just finished dinner, sitting down with some wine. Well, she was drinking beer last night. <laughs> yeah, she was drinking beer on, on uh, Tammy's show last oh. night. I had Tammy's show on, and I was on, well, I was in a, like a, a meat thing, and I left it on for a long time, and then when I went, I forgot about it, and when I went back, they were done. Hi, John S. Trying to film, do this. B Billy said he's back. Hi, Sarah. Hello, everybody. Hey, Russ. Hello, everybody. Hi, Billy. Sound like Billy been slapping on the gun limit again. Yeah, John, Robin. Billy been slapping what? <laughs> on the good living. Whatever that means. Don't everyone talk at once. <laughs> I've got a lot of noise here. <laughs> I'm waiting All for that sudden, bun. I, I come in and noise explosion happens. Naturally. Yeah, I won't be able to stay long. I got a grocery pickup I got to go make in a little bit. But uh, I'll be here for a little while. Anyway, hey everybody in the chat. Too much red. Yeah. Got some yellow. This is going to be an experiment. Teresa says, does anyone have any cool videos this week? Do you guys Billy have any does. cool videos? Billy does. Come in. I don't know, do I? <laughs> you made a nice box. I mean, don't eat the whole thing, but yeah, sure. I, I watched your fucking video last night. Hi, Steve. Maybe I should have mixed the paint before <laughs> oh, boy. trying to paint it. Hey, Steve, Shay, Teresa, John, yes. Uh, Mike. Oh, gosh, yes. Steve C. <laughs> Steve Nealon. Dwight. Hear me. You have to go Barry. through the whole list, man. A lot of people. Uh, holy crap, I missed a bunch of people. Uh-huh. <clears throat> That's why I just tell them all. And, and anybody I might have missed, I'm sorry. I only scrolled back so far. Yeah. Well, we're, we're glad to see you, that's for sure. Glad I got my new seen. logo hmm? on, my, on my name in the chat there. I got a new logo yesterday. I like it. Actually, Pretty excited. It was, actually, it was kind of late last night. <laughs> <laughs> kind of. Oh, I don't know. See, I felt sorry for Steve Nealon. <laughs> what happened? That must have been after I cut out. Hey, Fabi. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. She, she gave him fits there for a little bit. Because, because the, the little logo, it's a girl, and she's like, holding shopping bags right. and she's got this outfit on mm -hmm. and of course I didn't like the shirt oh right? god oh god <laughs> exactly I know where right. this is going we, it, 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 poor Steve he, he went through like five or six iterations of that damn shirt <laughs> yeah and he had to like painstakingly change all the colors poor oh guy my god. and then what does she want yeah. she goes back to the original one oh my god <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, I think I've been living. <laughs> he was pretty patient, actually. Mm. <laughs> he was really good. I tell uh-huh. you, I, I, I give you one change. If you don't like it, then I'm starting to charge you. <laughs> John, <laughs> Teresa has a question. She says, how thick of wood can you cut with a scroll saw? Maybe he can't hear. No, he can hear. Oh. Okay, Russ, you answer it. Good inch and a half, but I don't like to go more than that. <coughs> Hard to huh. cut through that much. What's your guess? An inch and a half? Yeah, um, you could probably cut more than that, but I don't like cutting more than that. I don't well, like that, cutting that, that much. The fish box I did, the insides of that, yeah. insides, that yeah. was an uh, inch and a quarter. Yeah, you could go more than really that. Hard. You got a good. That was uh, hard old growth pine. It was over a hundred years old, so it, it, <coughs> it'll do that. You got a good couple inch stroke on those blades. I guess you can, cu- you, oh, you can cut up to two inches, yeah. but uh, it inch and a half is is pretty much your maximum you want to go with. And the thing is, depending on how many pieces you're stack cutting, or whether you're yeah. going with a solid piece, right. <coughs> will give you like, 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 like for example if you stack cut uh, 1 16th or 1 8th inch pieces uh, the thinner they are the more you can stack cut so let's say you're cutting you're stack cutting 1 16th inch pieces if you stack eight of them you cut you're cutting eight at a time mm-hmm. so that'll give you one inch right if you stack cut uh, quarters then four of them give you an, one inch thick it's, it's pretty it's, it's pretty thick to deal deal with four yeah, four yeah. quarter inch pieces to begin with so Right. Yeah, Shay says she's cutting an inch and a half right now, and it's a pain in the ass. I do not like going that much. Yeah, it's 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 better if you're going to do that with 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 solid wood, than than doing it with with uh, stacks of of uh, layers because a lot of times, depending on how you cut, if you're not slow and meticulous enough. That last one ain't gonna be the same as the one on top. Later, Herb. Oh, see you later, Herbie. I didn't even know you was there. I'll see you. I'm worried about Herb. Yeah, yeah. He's probably not in a good place at the moment. Let you get in contact with him in a in a, in a little while. Teresa says she's uh, not a scroll person, but she wants to cut out a, a cutting board. It, it's a solid piece of wood. Well, cutting board, it's an inch thick, three quarters thick. That'd be fine. Hi, Chris. Hey, Chris. Howdy, Chris. I feel like it's getting more. Look at it. Look at, look at his picture now. Don't that look good? Snow, snow camp mountains. I, know. Mountains. <laughs> I, I love like it. it. I like so it. It's so pretty. It's beautiful. Can't hear you, John. When I'm cutting out the individual pieces, it looks a lot different, right? But then when mm-hmm. you join them all together, it looks. Yeah. No, yeah, that's right. So, it's gorgeous. It's <laughs> gorgeous. And like Pieces I said, so, individually. Nah. yeah. And like I said, I, I I was going with the shape topper on. I wasn't going to put a frame on it, but I ended up putting this bot this just this, 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 this one piece of uh, uh, rough cut cedar on the bottom, and then I cut out the uh, cut out the trees out of it, right, just to make it yeah. fit in there, mm-hmm. just to make it stand out more. And then I got to after I laminate this this piece to the backer piece here, yeah. Then I'm gonna. Uh, sand the whole bottom off so it's one straight edge on the bottom line. Oh, okay, cool. That's nice. <clears throat> and then I got my my other one taped up in position right now. Like I, I still got to sand the letters off, but it's. Uh, I'll show this to you guys. <clears throat> That'll be how that one's gonna be looking. Yeah. Neat. 
Steve says. No. Cool. That, that came out great. <clears throat> so now I'm just uh, sanding all my letters now, which will freaking take forever. <laughs> Chris Neeland said hurricane today. Missed it by that much. I don't know where close. you are, but I, I missed it by that much. If I hadn't had that high over me, it would have come up my way. Yeah, it could come here too, but it's going to turn, right? Well, I'm talking about the one that hit Mexico. I don't know about the one uh, that you're talking about. Yeah, there's another one. There's another our, one? Yeah, on our side. Oh. Yeah, Hurricane Henry. Oh, okay. I didn't. I haven't heard about that. I hadn't been paying attention to it. It went up the East Coast. What do you think? Beautiful. Does it look I like, like it. a pum pumpkin? Yeah. Is it pumpkin color? Orangey enough. Thanks, Chris. Thanks, everybody that said it looks great. <clears throat> That's good, Chris. Well, he said his basement stayed dry with almost four inches of rain. I was going to say, y'all, you got, depending on what side you were of it, that 30 miles ain't far enough. <laughs> You're going to get something out of it. you mean about the um <clears throat> how, how how close it was to you <clears throat> chris because last year we had uh i think it was uh laura or or delta one of the one of the two something like that that uh were about to wipe us completely off the map because it was coming in as a category four i think it was and uh at, at 30, 30 miles away from me, we would have had Cat 3, Cat 4 wins. But at the, I mean, the last minute, it, it, it flipped to the east of us another 15 miles. So 45 miles away meant the difference between Cat 4 wins and, and uh, uh, Gale Force. And we got Gale Force wins out of that. We were, we were lucky because we were about to be flattened. Would not have been good. Yeah, up Texas, yeah. Florida too, but uh, last year we seen our fair share. Snow too. Not really. Every now and then, every once in a hundred years or so, we'll get something we can't handle. Then we have to call for help from the north. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> yeah, Wisconsin had to send us all their snow plows and all that kind of stuff so they, we could scrape the roads. But that does not happen that often. See, this is the boring show. People don't appreciate all the boring stuff that happens that nobody knows about. Yeah. Yeah, all the sanding. It's, yeah. It's, it's beginning and ending is what they like to see. They don't like to see the rough middle. Tell you the truth, I, I, I don't think I really mind sanding that much. I hate sanding. I don't, I don't mind it that much because I, I get, I'm in, usually when I'm messing with this, I'm in the shop and I'm by myself and I, I could just listen to the music on my phone and uh, nobody bothers me and hardly anybody ever comes in there. 
No, I guess that's because Teresa doesn't want to bother you. <laughs> no, she don't want to. I prefer it that way. <laughs> She's always in here in the house working on her stuff. And I mean, if I'm if I'm working on anything, I'm in a shop doing it because there's no way to do it in here. And uh, we don't get we don't have snow plows here in Texas, Chris. Oh no! At least not down here, anyway. No. What kind of music do you listen to? I'm a classic rock and roller. Sixties, seventies. Like that. Very little of the 80s. Same. What? That's all the best music. The hell it is. I'm going to go out and say, uh, no, you're wrong. <laughs> <clears throat> I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a classic rock and roller when rock and roll was rock and roll. What is it now? Crap. No, oh, it's crap now. <laughs> It's crap now. It's not rock and roll anymore. Yeah, I was wondering why you put bleach in your martini, Chris. That was it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. Now. Larry says he needs to get the, the hang of doing it right. Depends on what you're doing, though. Like small pieces, like, like, like small pieces, like, like these letters and stuff. Mm -hmm. Basically, just take a piece of sandpaper, spray glue it, or just hold it down, and uh, go in circles. Yeah, go in, go in circles. It's the best mm -hmm. way to do it. And just, just, just try and keep even, even pressure on it, and it, it'll come out flat all the way around. It helps if you got a uh, an air gun, as well, or an air yeah. air nozzle. Mm -hmm. But like when I do them, I use like I said, I I usually just do a, uh, a pencil mark on the front of it. Yeah, when you get it down, it's good, it's good enough. Huh? But that's also why I pre-sand on my wood too before I cut, mm -hmm. cut it all. Yeah, pre-sanding is a a, a a must. Yeah, I don't mind. Like I said, I don't mind sanding it at all, but. Uh, I don't mind the, the the actual work of sanding. Uh, I do sometimes mind the, the amount of time that it takes <laughs> when I'm ready to get something done. Yeah. But uh, the actual sanding of it, I, I don't mind that at all. <clears throat> John Chris said he got a notification that your shows are intended for mature audiences. Does that mean he has to leave? Well, <laughs> that, that just means they're not intended that they're they're not intended for children because the language in them. Yeah. Uh, Chris, I would probably depend on how many martinis you've had. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Good night, Larry. We'll see you later. Later. Larry. All right, Larry. Take care. Bye, Larry. Yeah, I know her put a post up the other day on Facebook that he misses his, he, he really misses those two calls from his mom every day. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, it's, it's it's hard on him. <clears throat> Even though he tried to rush her off the phone all the time. Yeah, but the fact was she was still there to be able to do it. Yeah, I know. was there like what uh, yeah it wasn't me <laughs> <laughs> hello Mimi long time no see hello Hi, Mimi. Mimi hey hey Mimi got a beer beer today oh that was yesterday <laughs> Saturdays are drinking days mm. Yeah.
Yeah, that's true, uh, Chris. I agree with it wholeheartedly. And if you're not careful when you're sanding, you'll break a letter. Yeah. Uh -uh. Tell me, is that what just happened? Yeah. Came right off the edge of the papers. I was looking at the screen at Chris's comment. <laughs> oh, man. Thanks, Chris. <laughs> what are you going to do? Glue it? Yeah, or glue cut it. it. I'll glue it. I can't really cut a new one because when I do all my letters, I try and keep them together so that the green direction always travels the same way so it looks like it's from a solid piece mm -hmm. oh, neat. Uh, Mimi says no it's Friday's is her drinking day and she's been too busy to drink well hey, guess guess what you're doing today <laughs> Friday was my drinking day too yeah we all know yeah we, we know <laughs> You got me shaking my head again on that bobble like Charles Deering. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, she she only made two mistakes. Oh, only two? Yeah. What were they? The first one was trying to keep up with me. <laughs> the second one was drinking that through a straw. Oh, boy. <laughs> that was pretty funny. Goes down quick and easy with the straw, <clears throat> don't it? Yeah. I guess you did miss it, uh, Chris. <laughs> the fourth was texting people at 2.30 in the morning. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, like people being plural. <laughs> yeah. Were you texting the ones that were already on the panel? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you didn't get any text for us? Not that I can recall. <laughs> no. Yeah, you're so lucky. What? <laughs> I was thinking she didn't have my information. I was like, ah, that might be a click I don't want to get in. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah it, was, it, uh, it was all through Facebook anyway. Yeah. yeah. Me, John, and Jerry. Yeah. Well, I figured it was you and Jer Jerry. I didn't know she popped John into that click. Poor Jerry got the worst of it, though. <laughs> Somehow I think he can handle it. <laughs> oh my God, the room is spinning. <laughs> Sandy's got her premiere on right now. Oh, she does? Yeah. Let's go over. So does Jamie Page, by God. Oh. Is he doing videos again? Got a premiere going on. Just popped up. Wow, that's it. That's it. Oh. Where is it? Uh, there, there is. There is a replay on YouTube, Chris. Yeah, watch the show. <laughs> And not of her texting, but of the incident in question. <laughs> Why? I wasn't even bad on, on the thing. No, well, not really. Well, Billy, when, when you were on the show, what was it? Was it Wednesday, Thursday, when you were having your scotch there? <clears throat> No, it was the same night, like Friday. Friday night. Yeah, it was Friday. Was that the same night? Yeah. Yeah. Billy had his uh, had his scotch on two different shows. Yeah, it was, it was the last shows. show that he did. Friday. <clears throat> that was in question. I Are remember even... seeing a straw. 
I even texted Fabi that night at <laughs> 30. Wow. Do you think that's too tall? Yeah, eh? Yeah. I you don't believe you, you didn't believe me, so you had to ask other people. No, it's a diff It's a new one. Yeah, I, got no, the, it's, I got the other one. Well, the size of the pumpkin that's about three times too tall. That's what I'm thinking too. Unless it's you're gonna put much. the whole vine on there. No. No, it's just gonna be a pumpkin. Damn! I gotta cut it again. Could be one of them damaged them 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 seconds pumpkins from uh, Superstore <laughs> that are missing chunks out of them and missing the handles on them and missing. I want it to be perfect. Oh, you know what? I could actually. Yeah, that's an idea. That's a great idea. I can do it. Straw novice mistake. It's because I didn't want to be going like that on camera the whole time. I just wanted to sip it from a straw. Somebody behind you there, Billy. Hot dog. Uh -huh. <laughs> One of my granddaughters. I had a feeling. I can grandpa spends more time with his friends online than he does with us. <laughs> I've been spending time with them for the last five hours. I think that's enough. <laughs> <laughs> and none of them at, at this point want to partake of the shop. Hot dog! See, see this curly hair? <laughs> Take your headphones off and I'll be there. Yeah, you see that? You see that? You see that curly hair? That's how curly my hair was when I had it. Wow. Oh, yeah. Lord. What a sight. <laughs> Billy with hair. That's not your girlfriend. That's not your granddaughter. No, that's my grandson. That's my mini me. Well, he's got a long way to go to be mini you. <laughs> oh wait, oh wait, no, no, wait, he is a mini you. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Hello, Shannon, Shannon Keats. <clears throat> yeah, I Shannon can't was see you with hair like that, uh, Billy. Curly so, yeah. like that? Do what? Shannon was it was curly like that? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, my hair yeah, was yeah. just as curly. You, you know, you that that kind of hair like that on your head reminds me of uh, the hair that Herb Hooper had. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. His hair was just as curly like that. Yep, but bushed out. Yep. Wow. Shannon was uh, cutting. How big did they say? Inch and a quarter purple heart. He was Ooh. cutting com compound ornaments. They oh. turned out really, really good, actually. Yeah. You know, yeah, and, and all these years, I still have not done a compound cut. Yeah, uh, Robin, that looks okay. Looks okay. Yeah, was, this is going to be awesome. I just couldn't believe he was cutting compound cut ornaments. Like, they're freaking hard to cut to begin with. Mm -hmm. Like, just a purple heart. Yeah. Yeah, a couple of years ago, I had to apologize to that kid in advance. Oh? Yeah, because <laughs> his his mama got this gene. <laughs> oh, 
Lord. And, and we all know what that means. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it is what it is. I mean, he had a 50-50 chance, but based on the way his head looked when he was born, no, he don't. <laughs> I'll right, keep it while you got it. Enjoy it, my gosh. Yeah, but look at you now. So he's got that to look forward to? Yeah. Yeah, that's what he means. Enjoy it while you got it. And sometimes it leaves too soon. Speaking of curls... Yes. I don't see any. No. No, she straightened her hair yesterday. Uh huh. I straightened it today. Why? Because when I got up, it looked like terrible. Tired of the curls. Yeah. I mean, straight's easy. Yeah. It's it's naturally curly, but it gets frizzy. So I have to help it along, you know? <laughs> she Look, said here's she's, how it, she's still here just doing girl stuff. That's cute. Here's how it looks so far. I like it. <clears throat> John didn't see it. Oh. Girl stuff. It's girl, girl stuff. All right, John, take a look. Go. Cool. I'm not about to ask what girl stuff is. Uh, I had my ideas, but I wouldn't want to put that out. She there. Said she's here. She's still here. She's just doing girl stuff. And I said, I'm not about to ask. Oh. Having raised three of them, I know better. <laughs> oh, Mike said, what you cooking, Shay? What's girl stuff? <laughs> Teresa said, it's looking so cute, Robin. Oh Thanks, my Teresa. asking for it there. Yeah. He thinks he's safe because he's on the other side of the pond. <laughs> okay. What should I put some more? I could put one back here. That one's kinda big. Girl uh -oh. She said girl involve stuff cooking. doesn't involve cooking. <laughs> ah. <laughs> we're getting closer and closer to my idea, so we're going to stop. Danger, danger, Will Robinson. Painting her nails. That's what she's doing. That's not girl stuff. I've seen guys do that, too. Oh, no. You've seen guys actually do it? Or you've just seen guys with it on? Uh, I used to paint my nails. You did? Uh, yeah, back in my goth days. <laughs> back when I wore eyeliner. Come on now. Gotta make that blue. We gotta make that blue. I mean, blue eyes pop, pop more, huh? right? <laughs> it's not true if there's no picture. Yeah, video or it didn't happen. Video. Yeah. <laughs> they had video back then. Shay said, Mike, what you cooking? <laughs> I've never had paint on my fingernails. Nor I. I did say fingernails. Yep, you've had them on your toenails, though. <laughs> I have. I have not. Not to this point. I, I have had paint on my toenails twice. Oh, crap. Great kids got you. The first time I was getting my pedicure and my son was with me. Pedicure. And, Jesus. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I love my pedicure. I'm I'm spoiled. Anyway. Apparently. <laughs> I uh 
I was getting my pedicure and my son was with me and the, the girl sitting next to me said, what color are you getting? She thought she was being cute. <laughs> and I said, well, none, but if I was getting a color, it would probably be something like chartreuse. Oh, Lord. And my son said, if you do that, I'll pay for it. Oh, my God. So, <laughs> so, I, got a free, so I got a free pedicure. Oh, and I my had, God. And I had chartreuse toenails. Jesus oh Christ. God. I'm sure there's pictures of that floating around somewhere. I, yeah, somewhere. And then <laughs> the last time was last year, just, just before Christmas. <clears throat> I, I went to get my pedicure, my daughter and granddaughter were with me and my granddaughter said granddaddy you need your nails done like candy canes so my toenails got painted like candy canes oh my god and there I was laying in the hospital bed with COVID, oh with my COVID god. and candy, with candy, my toenails. candy cane painted toenails <laughs> all the nurse loved it it was the rage <laughs> All the nurses just, oh my God, those are so cute. Oh Lord, have mercy. All the things we do for our grandbabies. Yeah, well, when your 12 year old granddaughter says, Granddaddy, you need, well, you know what happens. Good idea. I can't tell her no, or them no. Well, for some things. Yeah, I'm gonna say I can say no for some things. Yeah. And painted nails would be one for me. I'm not doing that. I let I let the uh, the oldest friend. She's twelve. The oldest one. She's about twelve. Russ is not secure enough in his manhood. Ah, uh, you're right. Yeah, I'm not exactly. doing that. <laughs> <laughs> Hell to the no. But I will let her braid my hair. David Mike. Jones says, what in the conductor's canyon <clears throat> is going to do it? Hey, David. What you doing, John? Hi, David. Uh, sanding. He's doing sanding. a layout. No, I'm doing one, layout. One, of my, layout and one of my oldest son-in-law's daughters has been painting his toenails for years. Mm. It, he just, he don't care. He just lets them do it. <laughs> He's there got go. three girls, and they take turns. <laughs> so there's the layout for the other growth chart for Chloe. Cool, right. man. Cool. Yeah. One foot, two, three, four, five, six. Wow. <clears throat> six nice foot, thing. huh? She's going to be a tall one, huh? Well, they're all six feet tall, so. <laughs> <clears throat> That's, uh, Is that sure paint on that board there, buddy? No. <laughs> so they're, uh, when I buy them, they're, uh, how wide are those? I think they're 10 inches wide when I buy them. No, they're, yeah, they're 10 inches wide when I buy them. And they're, when I, after I router them, trim them up the size, they end up being 8 inches wide. Mm. <clears throat> Pretty good. They way get nice edging all the way around it and everything else. Mm -hmm. You're going to do a round over edge on it? It's completed already. It's, oh, it's already done. Tell. Done and stained. No, uh, they got, uh, so basically when I, uh, when I do them, because when I, when I put my template on for the router, it always gives, uh, uh, not kick out, but, uh, rough edges on it yeah on, on, on the outside edge and mm -hmm. then i basically run it through the table saw just to square it up mm -hmm. and get my eight inches square it up and then i'll just do a uh i'll basically put a a, a quarter inch chamfer all the way around it oh chamfer okay yeah, yeah before cool i too. uh before before i stain them all mm. mike said i think the doctor gave me something like clear nail polish once when I burn some of my fingers. That or it was some kind of liquid bandage.
And also, on a note, when you guys are sanding letters, and they're all in a jumbled mess on your table, before you peel your pattern off, <clears throat> my patterns are marked on the front side. You can't really see it. There's pa it's marked on the front side there. Mm -hmm. And when you sand them off, then put a pattern on the, put a mark on the back, so you know it's up. And which whatever number, like if there's multiples of them, like one, two, whatever, right? <clears throat> That way you know which direction they go in, so you don't oh, okay. mess, you. mess it up when you put them, lay them down after. Yeah. It's just the small little things that. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> you know, they always have your uh, original drawing with you as a pattern yes, sir. yes indeed because this will just be a quick layout here anyway <clears throat> always use straight edges and also uh another thing is that um tr try and print off two copies of your layout for your letters and stuff and then actual size because that way you you, you can lay your letters back down in place when they're done sanding lay them exactly the way they are put a piece of tape over top of them all <clears throat> then have your straight edge on your finished piece and then the way you can just flip it over put your glue on and then lay it back over and it's all the way it's supposed to be that way you don't have to worry about playing around with you know fine doing them with with wet glue on them yeah they come out straight <laughs> Yep, that too. <clears throat> so, uh, Dave, what's your uh, what are you up to today? Probably the same as me. I'm just being lazy. <laughs> yeah, but you were actually doing something. Looks, looks, like looks like Teresa got the memo to put her shirt on before she came in. <laughs> That's a cute shirt, actually. I like it. Uh, she waved it. Hey Sandy, how's it going? Hi Sandy. Hey Sandy. Saw that you just uh, finished up a video over there. I don't see Sandy. Where's she at? Been in bed the last five days with COVID. What? Oh what? damn, Dave. Yeah, he said the other night that COVID and leukemia don't don't make for good bedfellows. Well, no. <laughs> No. <clears throat> Mackenzie shows up. Hello, everybody. She said. Hello, uh -huh. Sandy. How you doing? She girl? said it's uh, that that Sandy. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. She said it's called chillaxing, Billy. <laughs> In mm -hmm. today's vernacular, that's why I like the old She's stuff. I, I knew what that stuff. meant. Yes, Andy, I did a video yesterday with Dragon's Breath. And you weren't here. Why? Okay, where's the last one? I don't know, where should I put it? I don't know. 
Hey Sandy, do you got time to come on? I got some. We, we have questions about Dragon's Breath. She said she'll do a rewatch. Uh, <coughs> show. Nah, I just come on. I can I can explain it quicker. Yeah, come on, come on. Just yeah. for a couple minutes. Just for a couple minutes if you can. Okay. Robin, can you send her link? Can you send her link? <laughs> sure. Well, because when I was setting my camera up, I dropped my mouse, and my mouse is broken now. Because <laughs> mm. somebody wanted some company. Oh. <laughs> Boom! You ain't no yeah. owl. Or otherwise, I would I'd, I would just turn my music on on my camera way over there. Me and him were both late to the party, so you know it wasn't us. Yeah. Oh, I know. I was telling the audience. <laughs> just, just a second. Hang on. <clears throat> Let me go grab my stuff. We're about to be outnumbered, Russ. I know. I don't know if it's going to work. I'll try it. Three Canucistanis. Oh, she's Canadian too? Yeah. Okay, well. We've got a I full house now. Three and two. I sent mm -hmm. it on on uh, Instagram. She said, give me a minute. I need some water. Okay. <sighs> Yikes. <laughs> oh, maybe I could use one of these. enough pumpkins or should I add one more? How many do you have? You trying um, to make a pumpkin patch? Yeah, kind of. Let me put more. Put more? Yeah, How many put do you have? more. I have four. You sure oh, yeah, have even numbers? Always go with odd numbers. Okay. We've been over this. Where, where am I going to put it? Always go with odd numbers and try and group them together. Like if you get a group of three, right? And then uh, two over on one side, then that'll look better, rather than having them all evenly spaced out, because then it actually looks like a patch, right? Yeah, and I wouldn't put them side by side. I'd put them in, in a in a clump. That makes it look more like a patch to me. Well, I already glued it down, so. No. Well, I guess you're making seven more then. No. <laughs> well, three more. You can, more. You, can, you can do with three more. If you want to make it uh, odd number. Odd, yeah. No, oh, one more, and then I, I have five. Yeah, but you don't have any clumped. You don't have any clumped together. <laughs> the thing about me, that, that, that like I won't I won't glue anything down. Okay, like I, Sandy, my boards she and put stuff. your link in Instagram. <clears throat> it's on Instagram, Sandy. I won't, I won't glue any of my stuff down until I know that I got all my tape marks and all my center marks and everything all done before I glue anything down. Right. But we also had this discussion earlier too about that's why I do things on the computer beforehand. <laughs> so I know everything's scaled to size. Heard of elephants. Did you get it? <laughs> That's all right. When I have just two of them here, it's a lot louder than that. <sighs> That's when you go back with back in the day. Children were seen <laughs> and not heard. <laughs> I don't even I don't go far that far back. 
we were always heard. No, not me, man. Oh, I go that far back. No. <laughs> Children kid, don't speak unless you. No. Yeah, I'm, I've always heard those same laws, but somehow or another, it didn't take. Children kid, don't speak unless you. No. Yeah, no. I've always heard those Hello. same laws. But... All right, John. No, no, they didn't take. Hey, Sandy. Hello. Speak of us. Hey, Robin. Hey, somebody's got YouTube uh, going. Yeah, you got your right. YouTube line. Uh, oh, yeah, I do. There. Oh, it's much quieter. Is well, that quiet? Sounded like Billy's so, house for a minute. <laughs> no, I know. We, we sounded so manly on her, uh, her back. Oh, yeah, we did, didn't we? You do. Yeah. 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 I like her. Keep her on the panel. Yeah. <laughs> Aww, thanks, Chris. Well, I try. I try to, but she's so hard to get organized and come on. So hard to pin down. Huh? Yeah. Oh, thanks, Teresa. Hey, Teresa. She always so, does, Teresa. Sandy, I did a, I did a, I did a dragon's breath picture today. Did it suck or what? No, it was. It was no, it was really you have cool. Complaint? Oh. <laughs> They're, 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 they're more questions than anything else. Um, okay. So I, I I went to Dollar Tree and grabbed some cheap I, – I mean it's cheap wood. Yep. And I grabbed some cheap stencils as well. Yeah. And uh, uh, put my stencils on uh, – put yep. the dragon's breath on, and I basically just had a, uh, a sponge brush. I just dabbed them on through my stencil, right? And, you know, or, you know I, was, I was impatient and everything else. So I didn't let it dry totally. Oh yeah, then it when when it doesn't dry, I usually wait 15 20 minutes. If it doesn't <laughs> if it doesn't dry completely, it um bubbles it kind up. of bubbles it it almost bubbles up and then you got this black splotch, yeah. but you can sand it off a bit. Yeah, I yeah. I, I figured that one out though. So Okay. Okay. Oh wait, where's my other one at? <laughs> I'm missing. I'm missing one here. So, uh, I, and 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 what 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 I figured out as well is don't show it in big. Go oh, you you go big. I, yeah yeah I, yeah. Give me a second. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Robin. Time is money. And, and, I, and I also figured out don't leave your heat gun too close to it either. Right. Because yes. well, but it also looks with, great though. But all but also with the cheap wood because it, it actually the heat gun actually burned my wood. But you know mm -hmm. what? That just adds another layer. Like that, I do that too. But it actually adds another layer. Well, see, I, but the I thing, see but it. The thing I know is, what you mean. It, it split oh. my wood. Yeah, it heated my wood up so bad. It, yeah. Well, but see, but wow. I, was, I was also using a commercial industrial heat gun too, which is way hotter than what you should be using. What <laughs> what what size was it? How many watts? Do you know? I don't know. I I I, I tried to see on the side. It didn't show. It it, it it's because... Milwaukee. It, it, it's know, commercial. It's commercial grade Milwaukee one, though. Well, you know what? I have a one thousand watt, and I'm gonna buy an eighteen hundred watt because I'm very impatient. Yeah. And with a thousand watt, or if you don't have a big ass one, you're just waiting and waiting. It's like well, no. yeah. No. See, because I do because, not because, like this. Because I got two speeds on it. I got, I, I got low and high. And that on, on low, low worked good to dry it out quick, and then I put it on high, and it, it like it, it it like went black instantly, right? Like the the black went black Ooh, instantly. That looks good. And 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 I figured out that you can also do ombres, right? Yes, <laughs> yes, that looks so like I, good. I started with that. Like you can also do ombres with it. That is awesome. Yeah, <sighs> when you, yeah, when you don't heat it up as much, that looks great. <laughs> See, and, and another question that came out is, is okay, so it, if you were to do something like this and put it on the dash of your car hey, or just leave, it out, just leave it out in the sun, like, like will, will, it, will it still do it with the heat of the sun? I don't think so. I um, You can do it in a toaster oven. Like, yeah. you, could take, you could take, like, ten of oh them. Oh, God, Teresa. Yes. You could take ten of them and... Uh, throw all 10 at the same time in a toaster oven. Yeah. And again, I was impatient. I was supposed to, I was supposed to do that at 300. I read some stuff and 
I just cranked it up to 400. It's like, oh, too long. Yeah. Let's do this. But then I did try it with the creme brulee torch. And then I got the torches out. I got the creme brulee torch. I got the, not the settling torch, but it's it's a like a butane. A, a propane torch, yeah. Yeah, but it's not protein. It starts with a B. Butane. But anyway. Butane. No, because my, no. Um, anyway, I got a big torch and, and a creme brulee, to, creme brulee torch, and it was just too much. I burnt it crispy. Like, well, yeah, crispy. Like, 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 I was actually going to pull, pull pull my torch out next, and I'm like, no, 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 we'll, we'll just stay with the heat gun for now yeah. and everything else, right? But uh, we also, but we're also trying to figure out how, how long it, it'll stay wet for, right? And, oh, and, and, I usually and, leave mine. I, I always have, well, I'm like you. I never finish a project. So <laughs> I have like 10 projects at the same time going. So I usually leave it on for about 15, 20 minutes. But I don't dab it on with, like, I don't put it on real thick with a sponge brush. I use, here, let me grab it. I use a stencil brush. And I find less is more. I don't want it to go underneath the stencil or yep. or um, bleed in the wood or anything. So I I actually dab it on my brush and then and then remove it, like take most of it off, dab it off. It was all I had, you know. For, yeah, I know. For yesterday's no, quick, no. quick video. And, and, and thing is, it. it um, when 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 I use the sponge brush, I, I put like v v very little on the brush, and I dabbed nice. it on my stencil as well. So it it, it wasn't like a thick layer; it was still pretty thin. Um, but 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 my 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 question about dry time is because this butterfly, I I uh, we did it in the morning at about what what time was that? Uh, it was one thirty. I finished it, but then last night I actually took the heat gun to it again, and it it still darkened up even more. Oh yeah, it doesn't dry. Like yeah, you can go a week later, and you can dark. That can go right black. Yeah. So 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 that was why we were asking about the ombre question. So that if you do ombre and have it in your Hello, car, Cliffy. will 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 the heat coming through the windshield actually make it darker and ruin it for you? Was, was you know what? We had. I'll have to try it. I will do. Yeah. I'll do a piece. I'm doing some on. When Tuesday, I'll do some on Tuesday and I'll throw a piece. Or actually, I think I'll have some that's not done here. I'll throw it in my windshield and see what happens. Yeah. And is is it food grade safe to use on like a cutting board? 1,000%. Absolutely. You can lick that stuff. It is, okay. it is definitely, definitely food grade safe. Mm. Because so we you saw... Can use it on charcuterie boards. Because we saw Annie lick it. I mean, she just said it didn't taste too good, but No, I wouldn't lick it, but yeah, it no, it actually is though. As long okay. as you don't uh, as long as you don't put any um sealer on it. Well yeah, well yeah. Like it, if you use board. any paint or anything with it, if you use a sealer or paint or anything with it, then you're taking it out of the food grade safe if you add something oh, yeah. to it. But okay. as is, it is, it is a thousand percent uh, food grade safe. So, what are your first impressions? What do you think? Well, okay, so so I, I, I tried a bunch of different mediums, right? So so soft plywood works nice, but uh, the, like I said, the problem that was had was was my heat gun. <clears throat> Hardwood works awesome. Okay, um, just needs a little bit of sanding, but it, if you're going over edges, it, it it's a problem. Uh, works great on cardboard. Nice. Yes. And works on works on paper. Oh, here, yep. it, here it is. It works on paper as well. The paper. <laughs> just be careful that you don't catch it on fire. Like yeah, you're heating it, yeah, it exactly, up, exactly. and you're watching it. You're watching it get darker, and then all of a sudden your paper is in flames. So make sure. Yeah. Yeah. Because because my I, I started burning. My yeah. Paper, look at right? it. Yeah. Okay. So. But you like, can do like a like, thicker like, like a card stock. <clears throat> Yeah. You know what's really good is, um, you know those beer buddies, they're disposable. Um, yeah. You put your beer on them. Like yeah. at a restaurant, you go and you, those are great. 
those they're like a thicker kind of material. Yep. They work great. Uh, uh, cardstock. Yeah. Well, it's thicker than a cardstock, actually. It's yeah, like a, it's heavy. It'd be heavier. Like it's than a that. beer cozy. What's it called? Um. You talking like coaster material? Like coaster? yeah, like coasters. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. <clears throat> yeah. See, because they're. There's a nice ombre looking one, right? Nice, nice. I got a question about that. Uh, since since I just saw yes, that. a bar coaster. That's it, Steve. The, the, the uh, bar coaster. The darker you that you have it right there, that's more heat that's been applied or or a longer period of time. Yes, but it's already dry. Yes, well before it gets to be that dark, dark, dark color, it's dry, and you just leave it on more heat. It dries more and gets darker more, or what? Yes. Because, you're not uh, actually you... you're not actually drying it with the heat gun. Let it when I say let it dry, I mean like let it sit for 15 mm -hmm. 20 minutes, let mm -hmm. it sit and then use your heat gun and the more the longer you hold it on and the higher your heat gun and it it will turn darker and darker and you okay. can get that ombre effect by so in other less, words, it's less it's, and, and more. Like it's real similar to to using a a, a wood burning tool at at lower yes. temperature for a lighter burn, and yeah. then changing out for or a hotter temperature for a a darker burn. You know yeah, what? This is done with it. I'm burn. I'm gonna make a comment right here. Um, I've been wood burning. I got my first wood burner set since when I was nine. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times you won't know this, but I did a huge, huge pallet. Um, unless you've played with a lot of wood burning, but I did a huge pallet. It was white cedar and it was awful. It kept going in the pith of the wood, the mm -hmm. grain of the wood, the sap mm -hmm. wood compared to the heart wood compared to the, the um, outside wood. And yeah it would catch on the grain pattern like the a lot of a lot of wood carvers and a lot of wood burners love basswood because there's no grain to it mm -hmm. so cedar is like awful to use and i did this big palette and i couldn't get a consistent burn like it'd go light and dark and light and dark and then dig in and then pop out and then dig in and pop out yeah because and i love this stuff this is all cedar this is cedar. God dang, man. This Sandy. Is, this Sandy, is John, cedar. John S. wants John S. wants to know if you're planning on nice. shipping overseas. Nice. I like this. This is cedar. When he like U.S. No, uh, overseas. Australia. Like where? Like Australia. Um, Australia, UK. England. Actually, it's kind of funny. I haven't talked to her yet, but my daughter leaves. She's going to Winchester, UK, like near London. She's going. She's going uh, next month. She leaves in a month, and she's going to South Africa, and she's going to Scotland and Ireland. She's doing a lot of traveling in the UK. Uh, she's and a I was actually going to. I was going to send her some. Pardon. She's taking all big blocks of cocaine with her. <laughs> yeah, blocks of dragon's breath with her. <laughs> She's probably going to get busted at the border with dragon's breath. So, no, um, no, it, it, it's all natural. It's organic. You can eat it. Yeah, yeah, I sure, know. sure you, you can. You eat cocaine that. too, my guy. <laughs> exactly. Look at I'm looking at. Look at. <laughs> yeah. See. So, yeah. so. 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 Russ, when when I put this on. I this one I let dry and then mm -hmm. I started my heat gun over here mm -hmm. until it until it got it to got the yellow the yellow color and and, and then I I slow I, 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 I slowed the speed of my heat gun down more and that's how I got the darker color on here. Yeah. That's neat though. And then and then, and, this, and then go on. Whoops, sorry. And then this, you can't see it, but this is this is cedar. Make it bigger. This is cedar, and there's a lot of wood grain, and it literally took me, like, I burnt that with dragon's breath. I kind of did a reverse uh, reverse burn, and it literally took me, like, 15 minutes where it would have 
took, I would have been aggravated. It would have took days to do that. Yeah. Like that palette I did, oh my God, it took me over a week and it was awful. Like if it wasn't a custom order and mm -hmm. I didn't, and and I was I was getting paid a lot of money. I was just like I was ready to burn that 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 biatch. <laughs> I was ready to burn it. I was so frustrated. And then we were curious whether Mark. you could do it. We were curious whether you could do it on a dark hardwood. So I I, I grabbed this. Uh, Billy, this is that piece we figured out was Ma uh, Madagascan Madagascar rosewood. Oh, he's mm. out here. <clears throat> so then I burnt I burnt it in, and you, you it it. it, it, it you can see it, but it's really faint, and it, it almost gives an antique look to it because you can mm -hmm. see that. If you mm -hmm. see it close up, you can see it, and the, and that oiled it afterwards. And so, you know, that would it, be really cool. Like that would be a really cool technique. Like if you're doing like, you can just a very subtle painting yeah. or something. Like I could see, like I could really see like a really cool witch or something, something subtle for uh, for. Um, Halloween. Halloween. Yeah. Sorry, my daughter came in. So like, Squirrel. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So uh, we we're wondering about pricing and shipping and uh, ingredients and mixing it and thinning it out. Okay. So the. Um, Cause all I got was a mason jar on my front doorstep. I'm like, okay, Carrie, put this on the counter so don't let the dogs eat it. <laughs> that was like, a drive by. That I was know. that was like a that um um where are you again? Um Grand Prairie. Grand Prairie. It's like you guys are like the drug country of the world. Like <laughs> you guys do a lot of drive bys. So what? Yeah. And my sister my sister used to or my sister, my daughter used to live in that neighborhood. It was like, ooh. Yeah. Oh, I love you, Teresa. Um, yeah, so anyway. Um, so, John, you, yes. you... Yeah, I'll talk to you. <laughs> um, so you're hooked up. And then in the States, Indiana Jones is going to ship it out for me. And you get a small jar like this. And I don't know, I don't know if this is, I don't know how many ounces are in it, but you get a small jar like this. And it's in the States and it's $19.99. And it gets shipped to you in the States. A little goes a long ways on that though, huh? You it know does. what? It's a gel. Mm -hmm. And you will be surprised. Like you really don't need very much. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, be, be, because yet. Yesterday when 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 I did like the so one two one two three four five six <clears throat> seven eight nine ten ten of these I basically just used the gel that was on the lid I yeah. didn't dip it yep. inside at all so <clears throat> and that's what I do I um I use a round stencil brush and I put it on and then I stipple it off into the lid and then I just keep reusing that little bit and like it really does and the consistency I really like the consistency um I purposely did a lot of experimenting and I was I I bought it I bought a scorch pen and they're running about 19 bucks for a pen of like scorch paint and that's where this is how i got all started on this so and i really didn't like it the consistency sucked it bled in with the wood like it would follow the wood grain like it would like if you touched it if you touched it it would bleed into the wood grain it would bleed under your stencil and i just really was not happy with it and I've been doing like wood burning and art my whole life. So I was pretty frustrated. So I ended up making this really thick. Yeah. And then John, if you want, you could thin it down with just plain water. Just water, eh? Okay. Yeah. Just plain water. But 
I wouldn't thin it down. Like I use this with a paintbrush and everything, like a real small, fine paintbrush. Like I did a sign this week, it was a wedding sign and I had to do um, like the word and, A-N-D. And I had to write in the word and, and I use, like it was like, like this big, like it was really, really small. And I used a real fine, fine, I don't even have it here because it, it's in my, it's in the kitchen. It was finer than this. Like I used a real fine, fine round brush. Like it was super, brush. Yeah, it was super fine and it, and it worked great. So unless you want, I do, I might play around with it like with, um, with, um, I do have some fountain pens. I, I used to, I, well, I love, I love journaling. So I, I do like a fountain pen, So I might try it with a fountain pen. Yeah. Because, because, because that's what, uh, uh, Mark was thinking about doing too, right? Try it with a fountain pen. And then I was thinking about, uh, grabbing some rubber stamps as well. Rubber and stamps. Just... You, you don't need to thin it at all. All you do is you take a flat brush, like, like here, you take a flat brush. Um, you take a flat brush and you just, you, you rubber just uh, put it on the, on the rubber stamp and then put it on the, put it on. I have some videos on that one. The rubber stamp, I like to brush it on my rubber stamp and then put my wood on top of the rubber stamp. So then it doesn't shift at all. But, uh, yeah, you don't, you don't need to thin it. The only, the only time you would maybe thin it is, um, the only time you don't, the only time you would thin it is maybe with, uh, with a, um, calligraphy pen, like a, uh, what, what was it called again? Sorry. My brain fog is on yeah, high roll cal tonight. A calligraphy pen. Yeah, calligraphy pen. Because we were thinking about uh, or a fountain uh, pen. That's what I'm thinking. A fountain pen. I'm old school. Yeah. It's a fountain pen. We're, we're and if you're gonna use like a if you're gonna use like a bird's feather, you, know, you might want to thin it. Because <laughs> we're thinking if uh, if um, sucking it into a syringe just to do like 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 fine fine dots like like on 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 a mandala or something, right? Uh, maybe I should. You know what I would do? I would take the end of my paintbrush and just dot with it. Dot, dot, dot. Dot, 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 dot. Well, yeah, I wouldn't yeah. put it in a syringe. I wouldn't, I wouldn't put it in a syringe. And I probably wouldn't use my, um, my fountain pen. Like, I'll try it, but I probably wouldn't do that. Like, I would just use my fine paintbrush. Like personally, I wouldn't thin it, but but you're welcome to thin it. It it'll still work if you thin it. It'll still work, and it's just water. Like and then like the my, ingredients. My I, can't, anyway. I can't tell you the ingredients, or I'd have to kill you. <laughs> okay, that's fine. <laughs> if you thin it, uh, you have to use less heat. Or no. Uh, less heat for what? If you thin it. To, to heat it up. Oh, if you thin it. Mm -hmm. Um. Seems like you would. Yeah, probably because you're probably gonna do fine detail, and you don't want to like. You're probably gonna do fine detail, but like I have a I have a bunch of videos coming out. I have a bunch of wedding videos. I did a lot of wedding stuff the last couple of weeks, and mm -hmm. you're gonna see where I did like, you know, they did like a guest registry on a piece of wood, and then everyone's gonna sign it. But um, yeah, you're gonna see that. And, and, uh, yeah, well, it's all good. It's all okay, good. Okay, John, it's time for me to hit the road. Got to go get that grocery order. All right, Russ, take care. Yeah. See Later, Russ. Russ. Nice bye, to see y'all. Night, night, Russ. Bye, bye. Good talking Robin, to you. Robin, you can probably get a craft knife at Dollar Tree. Yes, they sell them. I showed them yeah. to her the other day. That's where I got all mine at. Don't, yeah, 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 me. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Oh my god, you, you should have seen her, Sandy. She was using a steak knife. Oh my god. A serrated steak I knife. I got a lot of Where is Oh. <laughs> and then dances with 
Aardvarks. You can That's get my, fillable marker pens too. That might work. Yes. You can get like, um, they're like um, a paintbrush on the end of them and you can fill them and use it like a paintbrush. Yeah, you could, you could use those. And I think you might be able to get like, Crayola or like a cheaper one, you, you might be able to get something at the dollar store. Teresa said the craft knife at Dollar Tree is garbage. Uh, then, okay, Rob, yeah. just order one from Amazon. Yes, but the the the, the craft knives they have at Dollar Rama are better. I yeah, but she's I, not I, from I, Canada. I, yes, she is. Yeah. Robin, she's where Ottawa. are you from? She's not a Ottawa. Ottawa. What? She's from Canada, just like you and John. Yeah. Oh my God! Every time you're saying that, oh, there's another Canadian on. I didn't think it was you. <laughs> yeah. I don't know who I thought it was. Yeah, she's in Ottawa. And, what the uh, heck, girlfriend? Uh, uh, J John Bradley, when he's on here, he's from. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Well, he's 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 in basically Tottenham area. Cam okay, done. Want to see? Yes. Put her on big, big screen, big screen. There. <clears throat> oh, that's oh, awesome. Cute. Like, it. yes, very, very festive. It looks Halloweenish too. Well, oh, it no. is. It's a no, lot it's better good. than my craft yesterday. <laughs> nice. <Looks good. laughs> I like it. Yeah. Yes, I am surrounded <laughs> by Kanukistanis. <laughs> This is my craft yesterday. Where's the, where's the rest of them? <laughs> oh, I gave up. It looks Why? awful. It's I don't, down, by the way. Yeah, I I don't, know. it's supposed what to is go it? this way. It was gonna be a moose. Oh, okay. But I didn't get the antlers on. Doesn't, doesn't and then, it look just like a moose's head, bro? <laughs> it looks just like a moose. It it started to go, and then I turned it this way, and and Steve said it looked like a toilet. <laughs> okay, or an ice skate, maybe. Yeah, yeah. I was thinking an ice skate. An ice skate. Yeah. I don't know. It, or it, a boat. It, it, it looks like most of the moose I see on the side of the road. <laughs> road <laughs> kill. Road kill. Oh my gosh. Oh man. Oh well, I redeemed well, myself today. That's too funny. Okay, so here's my one wedding sign. Wait, I want to see. Ooh, nice. <laughs> not glued down, right? No, it's not glued down yet. Robin Teresa said that's not a moose. I know. I, I'm from, she said, I mean, I'm from Florida, but that's not a moose. <laughs> <laughs> moose and squirrel. Oh my gosh. Oh man. Um did you do that with Dragon's Breath? What? Or paint? What? The Mine? bottom, the numbers. Yeah, the sign. No, it that the scroll saw it in. Let me see. <laughs> yeah. Oh nice. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. It looks so dark on camera. That looks great. Great, great. He's like, yeah, it took me hours. Thank you. <laughs> oh. oh, man. How you feeling, Billy? Good. Good. How about you? I'm great. Did you, um, like after COVID, do you have any lung issues still or? <clears throat> I had lung issues before COVID, but, uh, but yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, but I mean, nothing. It, it's about the same. My asthma is okay. still my asthma. It, yeah. I'm not sure. I'm not affected a little more by something than I was yeah. before. But yeah, I'm good. Every now and then, I still get a little tired. Or <clears throat> about one day every two months, I'll wake up just tired for no reason and it's still after effects of covid it's crazy yeah that's a that's a lot on your system like that's 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 a 
And then even just on top of your asthma and lung issues, like that makes you tired already. Like, yeah. So. Yep. Yep. Mm hmm. Does anyone know? Is Annie going live tonight? Uh, I don't know. I haven't seen uh, anything. Make any it a pumpkin, or... Robin. Maybe I'll reach out to her and see. Oh, I see Charles is in the chat, and Cliff is here too. Sunday is Denise, day. right? <laughs> yeah. Hi, Denise. You remembered. Hey. Hi, Denise. Good job. This look, this is memory is better. You know. So what do you got on the go right now then, uh, Sandy? I have so much on the go. Y'all be careful. Oh, I love you too, Billy. Yeah, that was, <laughs> I love you too, but I was talking to my grandson. I know. <laughs> <laughs> um, I am pivoting my channel. I'm making it more of a... Um, I'm going to do more storytelling and I'm going to do more of like a uh, sawmill sawmill. Like I released my video. I just released is from Bush to bench. Yeah. So, we, we, well, well, I, I saw that it started. I saw that you were going on and I told everybody in here. Oh, I, thank you. I took a, took a look at it. It was running in the background. I didn't get to see all of it all, but I will. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, so we're going to go in the bush and we're going to go at the sawmill and we're going to go at the shop. And we do this already, but I don't actually videotape it. And I'm probably going to die because my husband is really rammy and kind of grumpy. And then I'm on the end of a camera and not really paying attention. So he's probably just going to run me over <laughs> someday by the sea. Thank you. Yeah, so we're going to go like we're going to go the full enchilada like taking a tree and then making it into a DIY. So on Thursday I'm releasing a video and it's um breast cancer awareness. Get those boobies tested, get your mammograms, the boys, you should get your PSA test done. It's like 20 bucks and early detection is so keen. Um, yeah, so I'm doing a log to live edge and I'm going to, I'm going to show you, I'm going to go to the bush and get a tree and then saw it at the sawmill, get some live edge boards. Then I'm going to pick some dried live edge boards and I'm going to do a sign with dragon's breath. We are going to get lit. So, yeah. So it's been kind of crazy. I'm pivoting the channel and I just got done school. I was in um, Daryl Leaves Jumpstart program, his channel Jumpstart. So kind of like Linda's Sawmill Cinema on YouTube. I'll have to check that out. I haven't seen that. I will check that out. Thanks, Mark. Linda's Sawmill Cinema. Okay. I will check that out. So, yeah, it's going to be a bit more storytelling, um, a bit more of more like family, like like me and my huckster, the grumpy lumber, the grumpy lumberjack, more um, more woodworking tools, that kind of stuff. Yeah. Cool. Cool. Sounds like a lot of fun. Yes. What have you been working on? What have you been up to? Me? Yeah. Scroll song. <clears throat> Scroll song. Not, scroll song not, and, and not finishing projects. Perfect. But I'm going out of town all this week, so I won't be on at all. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, I got my daughter. My daughter and her boyfriend are home for a month from BC. And then they're going to Britain. And I probably won't see them for like a year. And then my other daughter from BC, there's a wedding here. So my other daughter is coming on Wednesday from BC. 
So yay, I got my family home this week. My babies, my babies are home. Cool, cool. Yes. Cool. What have you been working on, Billy? What's going on in your shop? Uh, I've been doing some scrolling. I'm working on a segmented salad bowl. Ooh, it's nice. Gonna, like wait, it's coming a wood slow turning? Oh, uh, yeah, it'll be a wood, wood turning. Um, what kind of wood? It's juniper and birch. Oh, nice. Is the juniper green where in Texas? Is it green? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. No? No. The You mean the wood? Yeah. Yeah. No, it's ash juniper. Um, it's a, a reddish brown. It's mm. very aromatic. Really? But uh, like, yeah. is juniper like a bush? You said ash juniper. Is it like a ash. bush? No, it's a tree. Oh, we don't have ash juniper. Uh, Do we? Juniper bushes up here are like uh, cedar cedar bushes. It's in the same family. Cedars and junipers. Oh, okay. Oh, a juniper tree. Yeah. I I was thinking of the bush. I was thinking of like the small. Okay. Okay. Stop thinking about bush. Come on. <laughs> I know. The bush. Oh, here, girl. The bush. <laughs> <laughs> Linda runs a family-owned sawmill, and she runs that outfit <coughs> with an iron fist and the velvet glove. I love that. They haven't posted in a while, so thank you, Mark. I'll absolutely check her out i probably know her i probably just don't recognize the name let me let me see youtube what's it linda sawmill linda sawmill cinema yeah, down oh, yeah. Here, a lot of people call ash juniper seed mountain cedar they call it oh, cedar okay. because because how uh, it smells like cedar it's very aromatic Oh, nice. You just introduced me to a new channel, Mark, and that looks awesome. So Cedar, like she does little wood cookies and stuff and some live ed boards and oh, yeah, I'm going to enjoy this channel for sure. Oh, yeah, she hasn't. Her newest video was two years ago. Girl, you got to get back into it. You got to get back into it. I have to reach out to her and get her back on. <laughs> I need to see some videos. Uh, oh, nice. Thanks, John. Yeah, John watches her too. Oh, well, Sandy, where are you at again? I'm in Ontario. Oh, I'm, that, but where at? I'm in the middle of nowhere. I'm in Tiverton between King right. Carden and Port Elgin on Lake Huron. Right, right, right. Yeah, yeah. This is, what Ash, this is Ash Juniper, Sandy. Holy crap. Okay, that's, yeah, that's not what I yeah, was the, the I'm making this salad bowl for the lady that gave me the tree. It was oh nice uh, uh, from the base where they cut it off at the ground to where it started branching up at the top was 11 feet. It's about two wow. foot in diameter down at the base. Wow. So I went and collected it, and I got to give her a bowl from it i promised her one two years ago and i've not got there yet i've nice. I turned one and i didn't like it so i put it in the burn pit okay there's another one i watch out of the woods yes i do like out of the woods i really like him i i watch him all the time and he's kind of a hillbilly right out of the woods hillbilly out of the wood sawmill. Out of the wood sawmill. He has a big beard and yeah. Don't they all? <laughs> yeah. That's where now the Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh he, he's been posting. He posted three days ago. Four days ago. Four days ago, he's been posting some shorts. He he posted a couple of fifteen second and sixteen second shorts, and then he posted uh, five days ago, six days ago. Yeah, he's posting a lot. Uh, Let's says, oh, sorry. She's got like seventy videos. Another one I watch is Northwest Sawyer. 
He's about five minutes north of me. He does a lot of lumber for outdoor projects. Okay, Northwest Sawyer? <laughs> yep. Oh, yeah, out of the woods. I'm getting my guys mixed up, but, yeah, I do watch him. Did you ever watch I, those, those uh, uh, Lumber Kings from BC? <clears throat> they build all, all those log cabins. Lumber Kings. They're at, they're, they 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 actually got a syndicated show on TV. Oh, okay. Um. Yeah. And then, what was that other one you said? That's close to you. Uh, North Northwest Sawyer. Sorry. Oh yeah, Northwest Sawyer. You guys got good memories. I can't remember crap. Well, I'm looking at it right now on the screen. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> You know what? I'm not subscribed to that one. I've never seen that one either. There you go. And he's your neighbor. It's because you're too busy uh, um, looking at craft videos instead of looking at long I know. Videos. I know. I, I'm i making that transition. Be right back. Mike, he's waiting for a new sawmill. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Um. Yeah, I uh, yeah, I think he's gonna get a real fancy wood miser. Like he, his was already fancy, and he's waiting for a new one. I saw that. I saw that video where he's like, uh, "Is this a mistake?" And he and he brought it and he sold it. He's a heavy equipment operator, so some of his videos about that. He's about five hours north of me. Oh, nice, Mark. So not quite a ah, five hours, five hours, five hours. Yeah, nice. That's like, drive, that's like me driving down to Edmonton. Yeah. It's pretty much you driving anywhere because you live in Grand Prairie. <laughs> well, like me driving a high level tomorrow. It's five hour, five and a half hour drive. Like, weren't you, weren't you surprised? Like, I'm telling you that Dragon's Breath was delivered right to your door. <laughs> I know. Like, what the heck? What the heck? Yeah, John, I've seen one of Lumber King's log cabins in Scotland. Oh, nice. No, impound property. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, Billy, I have a couple of those two-year promised projects on the go, too. It's like, oh, my God, I got to get that done. I yeah. promised them years ago, and it's just like, oh. Well, and, and, and now I'm going to have to put it on hold for a little bit, I think, because I was just uh, – I was instructed this last week <clears throat> after she went through my scroll pattern book for ordering plans – that I was to make a bunch of scroll projects for Christmas presents this year. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, yep. Yeah. So I'm, I'm, gonna have I'm to, already, I'm, gonna have I'm to already this, getting. This salad bowl is a big project. I'm gonna have to put it on hold because it takes time to do it all. Yeah. So I'm gonna have to put it on hold, and I'll, I'll put out. I'll turn a couple of boxes here and there, and put out some turning videos but or maybe some small bowls i don't know but while i'm waiting on whatever but i got all the plans in and i've got to start working on stuff like tomorrow yeah yep in yep. fact i will be going live tomorrow night probably around 6 30 central time oh nice doing nice, a scroll nice. project since John's not going to be around. Yep. Yes. I'll have to see if I'm in. I'm going to the sawmill. Tomorrow's a big day. We're doing lots of video. We're doing some reindeer and snowmen. I've been selling out since July. So tomorrow's a big video day of it. Cool. How yeah. are you doing the reindeer? The reindeer are cedar and they're like log log with logs oh yeah like the one that i made last year for my wife yeah probably yeah mm -hmm. except i used oak 
Oh my gosh. Wow. It's heavy. <laughs> yeah, that is heavy. No, ours are just cedar and you put it outside. Like we're Canadians. Yeah. Everything goes outside. Well, yeah, this, this one goes outside too. What? You got an oak one outside? Uh, yeah. Nice. Right. I, let me see if I can find a picture. People, people don't steal their lawn ornaments down there. No. Nice, nice. Uh, and it's so heavy. Like they'd have to, <laughs> they have to do some major lift in there. We had gnomes in our yard and someone kept stealing them all. And then one day there was this ransom note and it said, <laughs> for real, it said, leave a bag with apples and onions outside or the gnome gets it. <laughs> oh yeah, that is like, um, yep, yep, nice. The, the only difference is I actually turned the head to make oh, the wow. nose a little more pointed. I put it on my lathe and turned it. Nice, nice. Cute. Very cute. They sell those I, at Home I, Depot. I, or I put the hardware. legs on backwards, though. There's, there's back legs are backwards. I, I'm an idiot. Well, we wouldn't have known that if you didn't tell us. <laughs> do you have Do you have cedar in in uh, Texas? Uh, ash juniper, not cedar. Oh, okay. Got to come up with a, I got to come up with a retirement plan. I need to, I need to set up a, I need to set up a, um, a sawmill somewhere in the States and go there for the winter and saw for the winter and then come back to Canada. But I think I might, I'm, I think I might do something, work something out in BC. My daughters are both there. So maybe I'll go saw and go visit Mm -hmm. <laughs> so did you leave did you leave the onion bag out no my mom called the police <laughs> <laughs> because they they swore in the letter and she was a little nervous about it you know oh that's yeah. such an odd story <laughs> Mark said, well, I thought uh, Texas reindeer were made of mesquite. Uh -huh. So the police came and they were just like, well, if you see anyone trespassing, just call us. They were like, what are we supposed to do with this? <laughs> what are we supposed to do with this? Oh, know. that's pretty. I'm actually going to do life-size one of these for the front yard. Wow, that's really oh, pretty. Cool. Oh, I love that. Yes. That's beautiful. Are you going to cut those out on your bandsaw, though, or? No, on the scroll saw. Like life size on a scroll saw? L life size, I'd probably just use a jigsaw, though. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Yeah. When, but, yeah, when uh, are you going to do that? Yeah. I don't know yet. But I was going to do them eight years ago. I was going to do them eight years ago. I've still not gotten around to it. <laughs> <laughs> but I hey, we're almost I, around the 10 year anniversary. No worries. I, I did use the three of these on a, a, a carousel that I did, like, like minus the rod ah. on the bottom. Oh, nice. Do you have that in your shop you can show us? No, I give it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Mark says, see, that's why people steal your lawn ornaments because you make things like that. And you live in Grand Prairie. No. <laughs> Just saying. So are those legs like individual? Like, do you cut out the leg and then add it to the body? Yep. Yeah, because because yep. uh, all all the legs are different, different, uh, standing in a different, they, they got a different profile on them. Okay. <laughs> Legs, so, so, so the the back legs and the front legs are all they're they're all different. Um, nice. you know, the only thing, the only thing that's the same is the antlers. Okay. But yeah, it looks even, great. Even, even those can be changed up. So Anderson, they can hear that on the live video. What's that? No, we can't. I'm talking to my husband. I couldn't. I we can't hear really him. hear. We can't hear. It's too quiet. <laughs> yeah. Make a chainsaw into a jigsaw. Don't I'm worry. Glad you, 
I'm sure so I've seen it on the crazy Sandy. Canadian channel. Don't worry. If they hurt, you would have gotten told. <laughs> Larry Contreras is in. Hello, Larry. Hey, Larry. Hey, Larry. Hi, Larry. Make a chainsaw into a jigsaw. I'm sure I've seen that done on a crazy Canadian channel. Well, I've seen those uh, portable portable sawmill slabbers that you just basically put the attachment onto your chainsaw for different thicknesses of slabbing. Yeah. They used to have like a like to make a real like a big wood cookie, like a real big one. Um, they like Alaskan chain, Alaskan saw, Alaskan sawmill. Alaskan Samo, yeah. yeah. It's a chainsaw with a... Crap. Basically a guide on it. Kind of like a jig or something. Like, and, like, we cut ours at the mill. Like, it's a jig where you, like, put the boards on either side of it. And then, what? It, what is that? A you hydraulic can, pump you, can, you use? You can use a ladder, too. What is it? Some people use aluminum ladder. Yeah, he he uses like a, a hydraulic pump and he points it so it tightens up so it holds the it's like a jack, yeah, hydraulic right. jack. And then and then he and then he jacks it <laughs> to hold the wood. <laughs> yeah, this is ah, he yeah. jacks his wood. Oh <laughs> he God. does, he jacks his nice wood. one, Sandy. Hey Anderson. Someone make a meme out of that. <laughs> Andy, we're going to make a meme. Do you know what a meme is, huh? <laughs> this is Andy jacking his wood. Oh when he jacks it, it feels good. <laughs> oh, my God. My oh, sweetest oh, ears. <laughs> this went downhill real quick. Sorry, you, John. You thought your husband's ornery now. Wait till tomorrow when you when, <laughs> when you get a video of him jacking and jacking his wood. <laughs> okay. Wait, wait. You, you got to do it again. I didn't catch it. Jack, <laughs> jack your wood some more. <laughs> I am so getting that on video tomorrow. Oh, my God. <laughs> So we're out in the woods today, and uh, yeah, we're going to be jacking some wood. No, we're at the sawmill. <laughs> He's making wood cookies. Oh, my God. <laughs> it holds, <sighs> it holds it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I blame Billy. <laughs> it went down here. I don't know where it went, but I blame Billy. Billy didn't do anything. Right, Mark? You got to hold it nice and firm. Like, what else would hold it there? <laughs> uh, Larry's giving you, <laughs> giving you um, sass, Billy. Billy. No, he's, he's, he's surprised I remember his last name and I pronounced it right. Nice. I'm surprised. I'm surprised. <clears throat> <laughs> Where do I get a jack for my wood? No, Chris, you got to jack your own wood. What are you talking about? Oh, my God. <sighs> Unbelievable. Sandy, you're so bad. You and your screaming beaver. I don't know where this went. I don't know. Yeah, me either. Oh, man. Hey, why, like, John, did he get new internet or something? His... It's nice and crispy. Usually he's buffering for me. Maybe it's a different camera. I'm wondering if it's the internet. I always thought he had really bad internet. Oh, man. Sometimes it's, sometimes he's pixelated and other times he's not. Oh, and you know, funny thing is, when he came in, he was pixelated there. John, are you going to get new internet? Not unless the city gets new internet. Well, can you, uh, like, can you, can you hook it up in your shed? Well, I got to run, uh, I got to run a 40-foot cord to the house. 
Yeah. Hello. That's what I got. <laughs> you need it. You need okay, it. Okay, I'll get rid when of that. When you're scroll sign and stuff, you're pixelated. I'll get rid of that. I know. Our internet sucks here. It took me it took me four hours. It crashed once. It took me four hours to get that stupid <laughs> video up today. I get so it's like banging your head against the wall. And then if I if I sure as shit, if I load it at night, if I if I'm trying to load it and then I go to bed, somehow it's like not loaded in the morning. I'm like, oh crap. But oh well. No. Robin, how's your internet in Ottawa? You look nice. Yeah, you look crispy. Like, what about when you upload? How's your upload speed? It goes pretty quickly. I do everything from my phone. Like, okay. if, the, if the video is 12 minutes, it usually takes me 12 minutes to upload. What? Yeah. Not four hours? So, are you an Apple person? Like, is your app, are you doing Apple? Yeah. So, you you put it from, you share it from your Apple to your phone? Yeah, so I have the YouTube app on my phone. Yeah, and, and then uh, you upload it from there. Yeah, and then I do the description box and everything on the computer. I need to try that. Hey, Mark. Mark says, John, I bought a 75-foot Cat 8 cable for my shed for less than 20 bucks. Come on, John. Jeesh. Must be Just nice. Do it. Do it. Just wait. I, I've just got Cat 5 running in my shop. I just got to figure it out where works. I got to run it. But it works I wanna, fine. I, I want to run it so that uh, the tortoises don't eat it and the birds don't peck at it. I get what? The cable. Mine's buried. Yeah, well, that's what I said. I'm gonna, I gotta bury mine. <clears throat> but they get figure uh, well, out. Well, the I, conduit is buried, and then the cables run through the conduit. I um, I just have a cable, and then I just roll it out and put my new like, put the router box or whatever it's called out there, and then I roll it back in, roll it up. Bring it back in. No, I'm not doing that every day. <laughs> but I don't go. I don't. I don't use it very often. I don't. I, don't go like I wouldn't do that every day either. Which yeah. Is why I did. Okay, here's my other one. Mine put in. Here's my other wedding sign. Wait, there we go. Yeah, Ooh, I don't blame you. That ever pretty. Wow. That's nice. That is so nice. So, so I got to I got to oil this. That's oil lovely. This. I gotta, so I got to oil the cedar back here, stay in these black get spacers for all these other letters here so that they're all raised up properly. Wow. I love the layering. I love the way you layered the words on. Uh -huh. well, that's, that's his my, trademark. That's, that's my style that I do for all my wedding signs. And that's like, I've never had anybody send one back yet. <clears throat> I'd be mad if someone sent one back that was looked so good like that. Well, if they're not happy with it, and so you know it's their choice, they could do whatever they want with, it, right? That's gorgeous. You're amazing, John. Yes, yeah, so talented. Yeah. Beautiful. It's nothing. it's nothing. What do you what do you scroll saw on? This, um, well, not this week, but what what kind of wood and stuff? What are you working on next? Uh, I don't know yet. I gotta finish all this stuff up. For, Night, first. David. <clears throat> I'm gonna finish up all my half done, complete half 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 finished projects till I get something new coming in. <clears throat> Night, David. And then, and then uh, curious if she's gonna either sell them or do something with them. I don't know. I might just skip. Well, July I started. Christmas stuff. I'm. I think I'm just gonna skip Halloween and go right into Christmas. I don't like Halloween. I like fall. <sighs> Halloween. I love Halloween. Like love it. But I'm just like, 
Man, I don't, I don't have enough time. John said right. he went to Dollar Tree yesterday, and right they had here. all kinds of fall, Halloween, Christmas, all kinds of stuff. All right, David, take care. Nice. Thanks, Larry. Lawrence says, beautiful work for John C. <laughs> uh, Mark says, you heard it here first, folks. John's going to finish some stuff. Nice. Well, he finished that. No, it's not finished. It's well, almost. No, he hasn't glued it down like you. He he no, I like you. Stain it and oil it, and yeah, not use, and not use hot glue. Oh yeah. <laughs> um. So you're gonna use like a wood glue, gorilla wood glue, or just a no, wood glue? I, I use CA glue. CA glue with activator. What's CA glue? Crazy glue. Oh. What is it, Billy? Cyanoac ac Cyanoacrylate. Yeah, there you go. It's oh, crazy wow. Glue. Mm. Lawrence wants to know if you offer a refund. No, no refunds, just redos. Just redos, and the thing is, is they're pretty much uh, less detailed than what the one they got for. <clears throat> but I do have, uh, I got gift certificates out there. I got $750 worth of gift certificates out there that nobody's cashed in yet. Wow. <sighs> Which really Hopefully they don't it. cash those in at the same time. Well, they're they're all they're all different at different places. Like I, I got what like one's in Winnipeg and one's in Shore Park, and two of them are in Edmonton. There's two here one's out in Fort St. John <clears throat> that's good but yeah they haven't uh cashed them in yet the, the, like they, the, the, I gave them out at uh silent auctions and stuff like that just you know just to get my name out there and everything else yep. but, uh, yep. so so people bought them but have never cashed them in yet yeah well that's good because then you don't have to do anything <laughs> is there an expiry on them <laughs> Uh, nope. Oh, too bad. I got really fancy gift certificates too. I, I, I like I basically do, uh, I, I, I do, I do, uh, uh, print them out in reverse and, and they got this fancy filigree on the side and everything else, you know, uh, that the bearer, the bearer of this coupon is entitled to whatever amount. It's all written out in script and everything else. My logo on there. And I basically just, wow. Like, it's basically lasered onto a piece of wood, like like like, like tattooed onto a piece of wood using my laser ink, and nice. uh, I'm finish them all off. So so the, they're actually good, so I can reuse them. <clears throat> but I've never gotten them back, so I don't know. People pay good money for them, so I don't know. If you wait till the day of the wedding to deliver, you may not get any reduce, says Larry. <laughs> I don't give them out the day of. Yeah. Because they're not they're like I'm. I'm not making them. I'm making them for somebody else to give out as gifts. Because yeah, like, uh, Jan Seville has been on here a couple times. These two are for her. Because uh, I know I did uh, three of them before for her uh, for some other uh, other weddings that she'd uh, gone to. And there was another girl I did uh, wedding signs for. I think I did six of them for her. Wow. <clears throat> and the thing is, is that when when they get my my, my cards. On the back of the mommy information in the back, and I usually get jobs from that too. So, how how do you guys feel about custom orders? I hate them. Like I love hate custom them. Order. Well, see, I everything I everything I do is custom, right? So, like when when I design when I designed these ones, that there was only one change to them, and that was it. I don't hate custom orders. You don't. You like them too, Billy. Yeah. See. I like custom orders because then it's unique for whoever wants it. Yeah. And then I'm not doing production work all the time, right? Yeah, you think I I love production work. You think I would love custom orders because it gets gets me out of that, but Yeah. I I love I love a production line. Like I don't want to do like two snowmen. I want to do 25 snowmen. Like I, I just that. That's different though because you know you, you know those are gonna sell. Yeah. 
Yeah, I've I've done production work. I did production pin turning for a couple of years, several years, and I no, uh, uh-uh. no, it no, it gets boring and monotonous, and uh, uh, I, I like changing things up and doing something different. Yeah, have a good night, Mark. Okay, dinner bell. Have a good one, y'all. Nice well, work, John. Thanks, Mark. Well, it's like when I did my 25-hour show. Like, I, I could have just stack cut five things at a time. There, it's five done. I yeah. could have done, I, I done the same thing. I could have done 25 crosses. Yeah. yeah. Right? But that, that's not the way I do things. I just, I, my brain is wired that way. I like, 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 and then my first one looks so different compared to my 10th one and my 20th one and my 25th one. I just like it. <laughs> it's just a comfort thing for me. Do they get better or worse? Oh, yeah, they get better. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, you don't want my first one. <laughs> that first one is like, Pro- pr- Prototype. Yeah, yeah, exactly. What not to do. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well, I'm going to get going. I'm going to have some supper. I got my kids here. And we're going to get some barbecue going. So if you have any more questions, just uh, reach out. Yeah, yeah, for and, sure, sure. And uh, thanks, for, thanks for jumping on the Dragon's Breath wagon. Wagon. The Dragon's All right. Breath wagon. Well, thank you for sending it out to me and uh, me trying it out. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, absolutely. oh, oh, oh! Right. Uh, oh, that was another. That was another. That was another question. Hey, who, uh, so so, if you get sales that people saw on my show, do I get commission for it? Sure. <laughs> sure. <laughs> just, just John sent me. <laughs> Here, here's your two cents, John. Thanks, appreciate it. <laughs> yeah. I'll, I'll send it in the mail. That was yeah. a custom piece, Sandy. Ooh, that is nice. The, that is really nice. The welcome to Polson were cut out on a scroll saw. Wow. The, the, the letters and the backer for them, and everything else was freehand router carved. That is gorgeous. And then I hand painted it. Very, very nice. I like the shape of it, too. I like the arch in the back, like the sh- the main shape of the sign. Yeah, it's that beautiful. was actually uh, a, a guy showed me a photo and then he, and then texted it to me and said it was a photo. It, it, this this sign is big. It's like twelve foot wide up in Polson, Montana. Wow! And he took a picture of it. His last name is Polson, and he said, "Can you make me a smaller one of these?" So I reproduced it. It's 25 inches long and 18 inches tall. Like that that sign, that arch thing, did you cut that out on your bandsaw or what did you use? I, I did. Yeah, I cut the shape on my bandsaw. Yeah. And, uh, and but the, the panel I, I glued up out of pieces of pine fence. And that's what I carved with the router, the trees and the. The Indian word down at the bottom are words and the TP. So it's multi level. It's there's nice. two or three router carved layers in it, plus the words stacked up on top. And for the side pieces and the base, I used uh, two by two redwood and then okay. and uh, roughed it up so that it looked like the original what what's your main wood that you use john like we're like i definitely use white cedar what like are you guys uh, into pine or what out, I, out west I, I, I use a lot of pine uh, i use some oak yeah. um a lot of pallet wood actually well yeah created creating wood <clears throat> uh that i just basically just milled down on my uh planer and sand it down then i'll laminate yeah. together to get bigger pieces Yep. Nice. Nice. And then what's yours, Billy? What what's your go to wood there? <clears throat> my my go to wood is whatever I whatever I've got. Um this is Yeah. Well it depends on what I'm doing. 
Uh, I haven't done a whole lot of scrolling so far. Uh, I, the scroll, the fish box that I did, I made it out of uh, ash juniper because I've got some, and I milled it up into boards and and uh, except for the sides, the sides of it are from a hundred and. 15 year old door that was in my house that was built in 1915 and uh, it's old growth white pine and it, it's nice and hard but I use all kinds of stuff I use poplar I, for, for router carb signs I use poplar or pine uh, a walnut if they want to pay the extra money for it yeah yeah yeah, we got a lot of poplar. We've been using a lot of poplar and uh, and then white cedar. Lauren oh, says, do any of you use airbrush to paint or stain for real details pieces? Sometimes I do, yes. I've got, well, we all I'm know not, John doesn't paint wood, but... Yeah, uh, sometimes I, I use uh, white oak. Sometimes I use cherry for furniture. For furniture, I prefer walnut or cherry or white oak. Okay. I used uh, a stain up stain. Any wood that's colored in my shop is stained, and then I'll use my, my spray gun for uh, spray my lac finish on. UFO. Hi, John. What are you working on today? Hello, hey, UFO. Everybody. I just Hello. finished finishing on my uh, wedding signs and a sanding uh, letters down for a growth chart. I was actually just going to get out of here because I just got a notification for dinner oh, as well. There you go. Dinner bell. Ding, 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 ding. Dinner time for me. All right. Bye. Thanks, Sandy, for being on. Bye, Sandy. Bye. Thanks, Sandy. Billy. Thanks, Rob. Oh, yeah, John. Thanks yes. for having me, John. Your check's in the mail. I forgot. All right. Well, I haven't sold any yet. <laughs> and thanks for coming on, John. Yes. Yep, Thanks for problem. hanging out with me today. Thanks, Otherwise, John. I would just be having my music playing and working on my stuff anyway. So <clears throat> Good. I'll text right. you more often. <laughs> yeah, except next week. I'm out of town. All right. Thanks, everybody, for hanging out with us. Stay safe. All right. Bye. Talk to you later. Bye. Bye, everybody.